makeup tutorial this is a very dark smoky eye with bold red lips this is awesome for any special occasion um, prom if you're going to a wedding yeah so this is the look and this was a requested video um, one of my subbies wanted me to use one of the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows and I decided to use the Scorpio one. So I'm gonna stop talking so I don't start rambling and we're gonna go and get into this makeup tutorial and I will see you guys the next time. Bye. Love ya. I'm taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is called Shimmer Shimmer and I'm applying this to the brow bones and sweeping that away in a side to side um, motion and this is going to help blend the product and make sure that all the eyeshadows is not sitting in one area then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend that away so that there are no harsh lines now I'm taking the NARS smudge proof primer and I'm applying that to my lids and I'm going to blend that out with my fingers what that's going to do is keep the eyeshadow on all day without creasing now I like this base from color tattoo this is from Maybelline this is the color stroke of midnight but it is a limited edition so if you do not own this product just use NYX black bean and you'll be good and I'm also going to mix that with my Anastasia dip not my dip brow pomade but my Anastasia beauty genius because this product has been in my collection for a while and it's a little dried up, so it's not as creamy as it once was. So this is going to help that be a little bit more emollient and glide across the lid a lot easier. So now I'm going to take this Coastal Scents Hot Pot. This is the color Oatmeal Tan. And I'm going to use this as a transition color. That color is going to go directly below the brow bone and above the crease. And it's also going to help all the other shadows blend a lot easier. And it's just going to look a lot more blended and more gradient looking. Now I'm taking Deep Umber, I mean Burnt Umber from the Coastal Scents Hot Pots and I'm going to apply that color right below the Oatmeal Tan color. And what I'm going to do is take a blending brush and go in a side to side circle motion to apply this color. And if you notice it has a slight reddish undertone now I'm taking deep rose from coastal scents also and I'm going to take a pointy crease brush and I'm going to apply that to the crease for a little bit more precision this color is a little bit deeper in color and it's a lot more chocolate it still has that reddish tone but it's definitely going to add some definition and prep the eye for the darker shades that I'm going to apply Now I'm taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek and this is a matte black shadow and I'm going to apply that directly into the crease. I am still using the same brush that I use with the Deep Rose and I'm just going to just further deepen in that crease and I'm bringing that color towards the inner corner so that it's a lot more smoky and a lot darker. Now I'm going back into Deep Roast and I'm going to kind of alternate the colors and try to get a more blended look because the Corrupt color is very dark and it's going to be very harsh so you definitely want it to be blended. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beauty Genius. Once again, I'm tapping this onto my fingers so that I do not have too much product because if you do add too much product to the lids it's going to crease on you so you don't want that and I'm using this to prep my eyes for the next eyeshadow which has glitter and you're going to see that 
very soon and this is going to grab and catch all of those glitter and make sure that it shows out and stands up. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay Scorpio Moon Dust Shadow and I'm applying that in a padding motion to my eyelid. This is going to help prevent any of the glitter fallout and it's going to also aid the beauty genius in catching those glitters. Now I went off camera and I finished my highlighting, my contouring, my eye, um, my foundation, and I've added lashes. It's going to open up those eyes, especially since you're using dark shadow. It kind of closes it up a little bit. So adding mascara and um, lashes is going to open that up. Now my favorite part of this look is this beautiful color from MAC. This is called Woodwinked. It is a nice kind of rustic orangey golden color and I'm applying that to the inner tear duct. That is just going to bring so much more light to the eyes and as you can see I'm fanning it upwards because I want to blend it out you never want to leave your tear duct unblended everything needs to be blended I'm also bringing this to the inner part of my lower lash line you see how much light that just bought and it's just so much more prettier with the gold there now I'm going back to deep roast and I'm going to take that to the lower lash line and just blend that not too low but not too high Now I'm going to take the Corrupt Color from Makeup Geek and as you can see it is a lot closer to my waterline. This is why I wanted the burnt, not the burnt upper, but the deep rose a little bit lower. Now I took my Lancome Hypnose Drama. I absolutely love this mascara and I am applying this to the lower lash line to open up my eyes. Now, I took the Mary Luminizer from the Balm, and as you can see, I applied a little too much, so I'm definitely going to buff that away. Um, dark skin girls, if you're going to use this product, definitely be careful because it can look a little ashy. This is a white gold powder. Look, right there. You see? You see? So, I'm just going to blend that um, away. So, I'm adding this to the highest points of my cheekbones above my brow because it's just going to add a healthy glow to the skin. And then next, I'm going to apply it to the tip of my nose just to lift my nose up a little bit. And then I'm going to apply it to the top part of the bridge of my nose because it's just going to make my nose look a lot more straighter. Not that it needed to be. Um, emphasized anymore but now I'm going to add a little bit of that powder to the cupid's bow to give me more of a pout this is my night moth pencil by Mac and I'm just going to line the outer parts of my lips um, I am going to do a ombre lip so I'm not going to fill in the entire lip you're going to see me outline it and then kind of fill in the outer corners to add a little bit definition and that's just gonna make my lips look a lot more plump a little bit bigger than what they are and it's just definitely going to emphasize the ombre um, that I'm going for see right here I'm doing it on the lower lip also it's just gonna be so pouty now I'm going to take my Audacious Lipstick from NARS. I did forget the name of this, but I will leave all of the items used in this video in the description box below. So if there's anything you're looking for, you can just look down there. Now I'm taking this kind of neutral pinky blush, and I'm applying this to my cheekbones. This is Coco from NYX. It's just a nice subtle blush for this heavy look that I'm going for. And guys, that is it. Bye.